Okay, and I'm back. Um, my memory is gone. It's been maybe five minutes. That's all, that's really all it takes sometimes. There's no to dos, which makes me think this is. Oh, okay. So. If state. Okay, we'll start casting. Okay, great. And then. Casting, okay. Yeah, this is where that state management stuff comes in handy. Because the, the way those work is you put like different scripts for every state. So you would have like an idle start cast or a casting start cast or a cooldown start cast. So that you don't need these weird like, oh, if current state equals this, it's all separated out into different functions, which I guess I can do. Like it's not, you don't need nodes to do that. Um, and I might do something similar for this. For the process. Let's see. So what does this have to do? It needs to keep track of how long it's been. And then it'll actually send things out into the world. Um, okay. Cast a time. Time since casting time. Mm, just call it cast time. Can I make these? I can make these constant. Yeah, okay. And then I can put these up here. Put this up here. Okay, great. Why are you complaining? Oh, you don't need the var. Okay. Okay. I can honestly probably use this for the postcast delay too. Maybe I just call this timer. I kind of hate that though. That sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, maybe, hold on. It doesn't, it literally doesn't matter. Okay. And then we'll do nothing here yet. Um, cast time is zero. No, we'll do, we'll do subtractive, time, time to cast, time to cast, okay, yeah, let's separate this one out. easier to stomach match current state and then we can do idle no nope. state dot idle huh is it case what mr goodell i would like to know how to use your switch statement. Mm, match. Yeah, what the heck, man? 
Is it not state? Am I dumb? No, it's state. Is this not a semicolon or a colon? Oh, you want a colon there. I see. Do you need break? Is that a thing you need? Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh huh. Okay, there are no breaks. They have key. They have continue instead. Okay, I like that. That's that suits me just fine. I hate that it doesn't um, auto complete the email. I don't know why. It, I don't know why it's not doing that. Okay. So now we don't need any of that weird. Oh. Yeah, this is fine. The only issue is we won't have any of these running in the same frame, which I think is just fine. I don't think it'll matter. Um, so idle process, I think we can just do nothing. Cast time. Delta if cast time less than zero. Oh, uh, well, dude, I don't freaking know. Cast the spell. And then current state is mm, cooldown. And then we'll do cooldown time. Cooldown time. Delay? Post cast delay. Okay. Mm, okay. This seems sensible. I should also set cast time. No, I don't think it matters. Because that'll be set here. When we actually start casting. Okay. So we can do really the same thing right this is our our baby timer Zero. we can do current state will stay dot idle and then we don't need to do anything else here i don't think because this state just locks us out of the stuff. We do need to change the color, but that, I guess we'll have to call, like get color, every frame here. Mod, modulate, whoa! Is this just a straight color? Oh my God, it is. Okay. Holy smokes. Invalid call. Oh, right. Wait, what? Current state? Ah, uh, what the heck? What do you mean? Oh, are you not? Oh, I see. That's why. It's using it before it exists. No! Why do you not exist? Why are you not? Oh, because I'm not getting it from anything. Right, that makes sense. So it's gray for idle. Is that the gray color? Hold on, let me move it. I can't move it? Debug? I can move it? Um, caster this one? Does that look right? You can't even, you've never been able to see this drop down? No. Really? Oh, you've never seen the fancy? Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Let me take a quick screenshot.
Okay, and then I just like drag this over there. Whoops. Where did that go? Dude, it's freaking gone. Screenshots? Oh yeah, you're in screenshots. It looks like this, except smaller. Like every time I do that pick color thing, it, it looks like this. So all that time I was talking about puke green, you couldn't even see it. Oh, what a waste. That's fine. Uh, now you know. So you wouldn't, you couldn't even see the pitiful gray. Okay, well you'll have to see it later. Um, we'll make that brighter. And then we can put you, we can, we can put you, uh-huh, back in the center. Okay. That seems fine. No complaints from me. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, this is done. Cool. And then I guess we can export this. I don't know, it doesn't matter, we can do it later. Okay, what next? You do nothing, which is fine. You need to actually cast a spell at some point. Um, mm -mm -mm. These are long. You can tell I'm procrastinating because I'm formatting it. But look at how much shorter it is. Isn't that nice? Say yes. Agree with me. Okay. Okay, beautiful. Um, hmm, hmm. Give me something else to procrastinate with. Please, I beg of you. I don't want to cast a spell. Is there literally anything else I can do instead? Ah, oh, no, there's not. Oh, there is, we can draw the spells. Okay, back to you. So this is done for. Um, so we're gonna draw the particles. Let me explain. Oh, I can use this. Oh, this is sick. Okay, you've never seen anything like this. You have, but pretend for a moment that you haven't. Um, um, brush tool. Uh, hide this. Okay, cool. And then give me you, and then give me you. Okay. So the actual spells themselves. So for narrow, we can probably do... So the spells have to collide with each other. That's one of the fundamental parts of the game. If we look back to our reference image, like they they can collide. Like the, the fire will collide with the, the shield, and then the entirety of the fire spell will be nullified, essentially. So the player won't, or the other wizard won't take damage. So they'll have colliders, but every, there's probably gonna be multiple colliders on each spell, or at least the wide one, I imagine. Uh, but they'll all refer back to the same object, so that won't be a problem. But we need to know what they look like. That's part of the fun of the video game. So I think the easy way, what is the easy way? I don't, I don't know. I don't have thoughts about the easy way yet. Also, I got this cool, uh, nope, not you. I was gonna draw on the screen, but then I realized I don't know what I'm drawing. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, what do we wanna draw? For fire, what should it look like? Fire particles that just go up. This pen size is so big, it's too small. Okay, should it just like B 
be individual particles that in like this frame go out and then like in the next frame they get bigger and then they get like even even bigger is that what a wide spell looks like or does it look like a, a bunch like a wave oh I guess the easier way to draw it is like a one big mass or does it look like a wave of fire what's the easiest what fits with the pixel aesthetic I think is the right way to look at it hmm and also something to consider is reusing the particles for like the narrow and and the shield Because if we draw just one, uh, if we all draw just one like fire particle that just looks like, I don't know, like an ember or whatever, we can just reuse this shape everywhere uh, and just spawn more of them in different shapes, right? So if you look at Why are you not showing up? Am I dumb? Don't answer that. There we go. If you look at uh, these, like we could reuse this small particle. Dude, how do I show this? There we go, okay. We can reuse this small particle as like, oh, wait, I'm a genius. Hold on. Okay. As like, uh, like you have this section and it would just be like a lot of these. But I think that's a lot of work. I think the easier way is to make three sprites for each element. You have the wide one, hold on, let me, you have the wide one, uh, get this thing out of here, um, you have the wide one, which will simply expand, right, so it's, it's this size, this frame, and then like it's, it's this size, the next frame, or whatever, and then like it hits the thing. So we just simply scale up the sprite, uh, which I like because it's trivially easy. And the collider is also trivially easy uh, for the wave or the wide cast. And then if we do like the shield, we could just draw like really just a bubble and then it's done, right? Oh, yeah. And then that's that's the sprite, right? And we can even... I was going to say recolor it for the different elements, but I think we can do... We could be a little less lazy than that, I think. Or we could draw them all in white and modulate them all, which would be very funny. But I think it would take away from the game. Yeah, I think they should look a little different. Well, obviously it won't be a line. Um, that's just for example. And then the narrow one will be just like a big old fireball. You know how it goes. Big old fireball. That looks kind of like a guy. Um, and then for the other elements, it's kind of like the line one, but instead of getting bigger, it just moves forward. Okay, I think that's reasonable. I'm thinking. I feel the urge to say I'm thinking because I don't want to sit in silence, even though there's music in the background. 
That seems sensible. I like this approach. Okay, so that's only, I only need to draw like nine things. That's so few things. Um, yeah, that's, that's easy. So, oh, I should match the color. Okay. Script, give me my red. Please let me just paste this into photo P. That would be so sick. You're not gonna let me. Oh, you, I can't believe this. Oh, you, I can't believe you. Okay. This is 74. No, it's not 74. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> this is so unfortunate. Because Godot puts them in decimals. But Photopea accepts them in integers between 0 and 256. Or 0 and 255. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm smart. I can just copy the hex from the drop down that you can't see. Okay, so this is the same color. You'll have to just believe me on that one. So... What is this, a fireball? This is not a good color. Let's make a different color. And then update. It, it literally doesn't matter. Just use this color. An iron will in the face of procrastination. Okay. Sure. Cool. And then we'll get orange, because fire has orange in it. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. But a, does a fire ball have orange in it? Hmm. This one does. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Looking like a fireball. And then we'll even put, like, wow, a little bit of yellow in it. Now we're getting crazy. I actually hate that, so we're not gonna do that. We're gonna stick with red and orange. Is this, does this look like a fireball to you? Hmm, kind of. I think it's good enough. We'll export this as fireball crazy okay um no i still see your ads but the recording doesn't because i was oh, smart enough to not include them okay this one is the wave nope the fire i think both I'm trying to think of what size to do. Because our little guy, what is it, 16 by 16? I don't know how I, I don't know how to. Yeah, 16 by 16. The fireball is 16 by 16, which I think is fine. And we can even scale up a little bit. That's not a problem. Actually, maybe we should. Because I want it to be. The narrow attack. I want the narrow attack to be probably a little larger than the wizard is wide. Because it still has some travel time. So I think it would be too hard to hit otherwise. So let's make this a tiny bit larger. And then re-export re it again. Ew, yucky. But the first step to good art is yucky art. How can you tell I'm not an artist? Okay. Uh-huh. This shirt. Oh, you know what I can do? It's I can not use the pencil. Oh. No wonder it looks so odd. Because the internals don't have to be 
Pixel perfect. I'm looking on the other monitor on OBS and this looks more orange than red. But this isn't really changing it. So I don't know if I care that much. Uh huh. Okay. Great. I think you should be a little more streamlined. Is that too streamlined? Well, I wanted it to be wider. So I'm going to say yes. It is too streamlined. Maybe not this part. And say as I streamline it more. Okay. <clears throat> Looking like a fireball. Maybe we do put some, maybe we go a little crazy, put some yellow in it. But just like a little bit. Okay, that looks a lot better. Uh, yeah. Let's save it as a fireball. Yes, you can overwrite, that's fine. And then we have to think about the wave and the shield. So the shield should be bigger than the guy. I think that's fair. So let's make it 32 by 32. Wow. And then the guy, how big will the guy be? Actually, you just use this as a reference. Oh. And then let's go get the other color. Whoops. Nope. Mm -mm. Try again. Is that big enough? How will that look on on our on our little guy? <laughs> kind of hard to imagine. I think it's fine size wise we can always make it a little bigger the a small discrepancy between pixel sizes I think is fine um, yeah what does a circle of fire look like oh you know what what if it's not what if uh-huh it's locked what if we put what if we do this Why are you not drawing? Oh. What if it's just like a front shield? And then we can make it look... A little more like fire. And it can like trail off over here. Maybe a little a more, more trailing? Can I get more trailing? Okay, not terrible. Actually, a, a decent first go. I was just scribbling, but I kind of liked it. Do you think that's what, like, the old school arcade gamers, game creators did? They just kind of, like, scribbled, and they're like, you know what, this, this is pretty good. Like, making Galaga ships, and you just, it looks like a Rorschach test. But you reduce it to five pixels wide. Let's make it more fiery. Get these peaks really out there. Yeah, yeah. Really take advantage of the fact that it's no longer a circle around it. And then erase it all because you don't like it. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm liking these diagonals. Maybe put a particle just like out here. Oh yeah. Okay, but the wizard has control. No particles would come for him at the center, of course. But around him. So strong, so cool. What 
We're kind of going up against the wall here. I'm not sure I like it. Whoa, what the heck did I just do? I didn't know you could rotate it. What the heck did I just do? Oh my god. Whoa! Okay. Good to know. Okay. It's a little... I needed to have more substance. It is a shield after all. Mm-hmm. Substance? Like a good stew. That's what your shields should be like. I also kind of wanted it to curve more. To be more of a... I don't know. Like a semicircle? How, how fiery does that look? I think decently fiery. Okay, this is enough. Um, I've spent too much time waffling about. We add some... Oh no. I just want it to be okay. We can add some orange to really sell that it's a wall. Uh huh. I'm selling. I'm a salesperson at heart. I'm not. I'm terrible with people. What? How are you drawing outside of the thing? Are you drawing on the background? What? Why are you drawing outside of the thing? Am I dumb? What is happening? What? No. Oh, now it works. That was odd. Maybe I just didn't undo properly. Okay, we put a little... Is it drawing? It is drawing. Why? Why isn't it drawing in just the selected area? Oh, it is! But it's also drawing outside the selected area. Okay, that's cringe, but I can... It doesn't matter. Because I can just delete everything outside. Grab some yellow. What? Am I... Okay, I'm actually just going crazy. Okay. Everything's fine. I'm only... Not an artist, is the thing. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, how do I know? There is a little bit. Eraser. Oh, I don't want any of this riffraff. Okay, only a little bit of riffraff. Okay, no more riffraff. Great. And we will export this. Looks kind of like a hat. 
my voice is starting to die, which is not surprising. This is about a two hours in. But the faster I finish, the faster I've finished. Oh, we're only two out of nine. Oh, that's okay, fire's the hardest. Everybody knows that fire is the hardest to draw. Uh, okay, so we can use, we can do, I didn't mean to create a new layer. Uh, new, this one is the firewall. Uh, we, this one should be wide, perhaps, perch laps. Uh-huh. Cool. I'm gonna take a drink of water and mute. I guess it would be more accurate to say mute and then take a drink of water, but it's too late. I like this. I think I just duplicate it. Let's work in smart. Why is it so big? Oh, because you're 32 by 32. Oh, that's so convenient. Actually, like, insanely con convenient. Okay. Get the pencil. We'll make you... Uh, I copied it and then I deleted so much of it. What if I just do this? Erase me? Okay. Like you make it a little less curved, a little less bowed. Uh-huh. It's kind of losing the fire look, I will say. I think the fire will be the hardest. And I'm not saying that just to be like, oh, it's taking so long, it's so hard. But more of like, fire should not be put into blocks, you know? But it's like trailing, right? So. Uh huh. That's why it looks weird. Uh huh. Yeah, that's it. It's because the top shouldn't be as out there, because the bottom should be out there, because it's moving forward. Whoa, motion. Okay. Uh-huh, I'm moving. The fire is moving. It's coming closer. It looks kind of like a, like a popsicle that's melting. I don't think there's any getting around that, to be honest. Oh, what if you do like a little bit of Ew, never mind. Pretend I didn't do that. Hello, I would like to move this, please. Is it not V to move? Oh, it's because you're locked. Okay. Okay. What does the fireball look like? I need inspiration. It did not inspire me in the slightest. Okay. And then we get yellow. Ew. Yucky. This is bad.
Maybe we don't do yellow on this one. All right, I'm calling it. That looks good. As good as it's gonna get. This is also a firewall. What the heck? I'll just call it wildfire. No. Yeah. Okay, now we should be easier. So what was the fireball? 16 by 16? Uh, so we'll do water next. I'm scrolling. Okay. I really should stop with the... I'm blank. I think it's just like a... I don't know. Conversational crutch. Excuse me? I copied it, but it did not copy. 297ED7. Remember that for me. 297ED7. Thank you. Okay. Pencil. So this is the narrow attack. So it's like a jet of water. Oh, I make it an icicle. Oh, easy. It's so easy, actually. Uh, so we just do this. That's an icicle, right? Maybe. <coughs> oh my god. Oh, the mic thing on OBS went completely solid red. I'm so sorry. I just like peaked, peaked the insanity out of that. Okay, this isn't bad. And then we'll make it like a, a lighter color for the rest of this. Uh, what is it, G? How icicle-ish does that look? What do you mean it, it, it not at all? How dare you? But also I agree. So we'll do it the other way around. Like this. This is not symmetrical, I'm realizing. Okay. Who needs symmetry anyways? I do, apparently. And then we'll do like one of those. And then we'll like fade it in. Uh, like you do low opacity, and then you like, uh, I don't know. No, there's a way to do this. Hold on. I'm thinking. Nope. L? Nope. M? Yeah, M. And then, hold on. And then you do blur? Mm, average? Nope. Motion. Okay. Holy cow, wait. I'm actually so smart. Give me this. I hope this will do what I want it to do. Oh my god, it did. Okay. Motion? Ooh. Not really. Hold on. We'll put it on a new layer, and then we'll do it. That'll work. Okay. Kind of. Huh? Oh, it needs to be the right angle. What am I looking at? This is not making sense to my brain. But this looks okay. What is happening? I clearly don't understand how motion blur works. That doesn't look quite right. <clears throat> but it also doesn't look terrible. So let's maybe roll with it. We'll just add a little manually. And then we'll darken it on this side.
Uh huh. And then we cut out the stuff we don't care about. The riffraff. And bam. An icicle. And then we add like a. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold it. Hold your horses. We add like the shine. Does that look like a shine? A sunspot, perhaps? Now you're thinking. Sunspot? But it would be distorted because it's a, it's a cone? Yeah, all right, that's good enough. The hitbox on this is gonna be so cringe compared to the fireball. Because the fireball, it's like, if you get hit by the front, if let's say the hitbox is the entire canvas, right? <clears throat> it's much more sensible to be hit if you're here on this corner. You'd be like, yeah, okay, that was pretty close. I got hit by that. But if you're here on the icicle, you're like, there's no way. There's no way I got hit by that. So here's a genius move. Pow. We flip it. We carve off these corners. It's an ice hammer. Nearly the same format, form factor. Would it be smarter to simply... Oh, and then you cut this off. Then it's not dumb. Because why would Ice Wizard not simply put point of ice cube icicle into opponent? Now there is no point. It's like a frozen drop. And it's nearly the same form factor. I'm so smart. Okay. And we'll pretend that that was faster than the fireball. We'll even call it Ice Hammer, to really hammer it in. I didn't mean that, I wish I could take it back. Oops. <clears throat> something, something, when you, the only thing you have is a hammer, everything starts to look like a nail. Okay, what's next? Firewall, but ice, and it's 32 by 32. Let's, let's, Copy this, and then do the 32 by 32, aha, uh -huh. zoom, what, why would you do this to me, okay, delete that, new layer, okay, we're making an ice wall, That should be not terrible. Okay. Should it be spherical? Or should it be like a wall? I kind of like it being the same form factor, but I also kind of don't. I don't know if it matters to be honest. I do wish I had mirrored it. Is that something I can do? It doesn't seem like it. So let's copy and paste it. Flip horizontally and then move it here. Okay. Actually, let's just <coughs> delete this half. Yeah, yeah, whatever. How do I move the selection? That was the thing I used to be able to do. 
Can you not do that anymore? Why would they get rid of that? Surely they didn't just move it somewhere. Transform? Nope. I don't know. I guess I'll just reselect. It's not a big deal. I'm dumb. Hold on. Okay. Why are you doing this to me? Okay. <clears throat> it should be thick, because it's ice. Thick and blocky. I spent all that time mirroring it and then immediately just threw it aside. Okay. I like it. Let's add some. I don't know. What do you mean you're different colors? What is happening here? Oh, I see. Okay. Hold on. Why is it selecting so much? Okay. So, how do I do this? What if we just throw in a blur like we did for the other one? I kind of like that. Uh-huh, blur. Give me motion. I don't think this is what I want. Maybe a Gaussian? I feel like the operating at pixel scale with these is not what they really were designed for. This looks kind of sick. I've never seen this before, as you could probably tell. These don't seem to be doing much, to be honest. The radius does. It's making my computer fan go wild. Okay, this is not... Oh, wait. Oh, I'm done. There's a tool for this. Where is it? Dodge? No. Blur. That's what I want. Why does it blur in... Like opaque. Can I have it not do that? <clears throat> um, what if I do this? And then this? Will it then not blur in opaque things? Oops. This layer. Okay. That seems like more of what I wanted. Kind of hard to tell. That's not really what I wanted. I'm wasting so much time. This actually doesn't matter at all. Delete this. No, delete the whole layer. Why why are you not simply deleting the layer? Okay. Alright, here's the new new idea. You simply blend it by hand. Wow, beautiful. 
up the tolerance. Um, remove this. Delete everything outside. Okay, great. That's the ice wall. Actually, let's... I'm not done yet. Hold on. Hold on. There's more I could do, I swear. I just want to make it, like, a little darker. Like, add some, like... Like, like no... Like, like I don't know. Just, like, a little darkness. A little darkness? Ever hurt anybody? Not like I'm afraid or anything. Okay, great. This looks perfect. Save it. This will be ice wall. Did that take shorter than the firewall? I think I'm obligated to answer yes. Okay, next is... This, I feel like this is taking about as long <laughs> to produce these nine sprites as it did to set up the whole game so far. The fire ice wall. Oh, easy. We'll just do the same thing. Take this. Copy it here. Oh, hold on a second. You're the wrong size. You're supposed to be 32 by 16. And then we can just die. Um, okay. And then we do this. And then, nope. Didn't mean, didn't hold. Uh, hold on. No layer selected somehow. I didn't even know you could do that. Do that. Okay. Uh huh. Cool. Sick. Sick and twisted. Undo that. Um. Pencil tool, okay, brilliant. We'll do this on the sides. And then we'll get our brush back. Select it so we don't have to erase anything. Do a little bit of manual blending because I can't figure out how to use the tools that I have on my computer. And then we'll put like a, a little fish in there. Oh my god, I should put a fish in the ice hammer. Okay, maybe not. But imagine if like once every 100 ice hammers, or rather a 1% chance on any ice hammer cast that there's like a fish frozen inside. I should do that. But not now. This works. It's done. I'm calling it. But like... Yeah, I'm calling it. So water ended up being more of ice. And then this is wide ice because I've already used ice wall, unfortunately. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Hold on. I'm doing nothing. So ice is done. So now we need earth or leaf or whatever. Nope, I keep creating a layer instead of creating a new thing. So 16 by 16. Okay, it's just a rock. I think that's the easiest. What is our, hold on. Fire is supposed to be good at this. I don't think fire is good against rocks. I think that is a losing matchup. If you chose, if you asked me, hello, would you prefer to hide behind a shield made of stone against a flamethrower or a shield made of vegetation? I think you'd be psychotic to not choose stone. Or maybe just an alien. Or maybe if it was like a lot of vegetation and really wet. Like really dense vines maybe so this needs to not be a rock so i'm looking at razor leaf 
just stripping it straight from Nintendo. They they won't know, so don't tell them. Okay, let's get the color from 2A9914. 2A9914. Uh-huh. That's green. Off to a great start. <clears throat> okay. So this is the direct shot. Direct shot. Fireball, ice hammer. Mm -hmm. Sharp, uh, sharp grass. It's like grass, but sharp. I mean, it would not be comfortable to have a huge leaf hucked at you. Or just a ball of vines. That would also be pretty funny. Or a ball of brambles. Like they're all thorny. I don't know. This is too small of a resolution to really do thorns that well. Maybe? I don't know. This is a tricky one. I picked a tricky set of elements. I will admit I did not give it any thought at all. I just picked fire because of wizards and fire. And then picked two others that could fill in a rock, paper, scissors roll. Hmm. Oh, what if you do like the... Just like a, a sickle type vibe. That looks decent. That actually looks fantastic. I'm shocked. And then we make this lighter to make to make it look dangerous. <laughs> oh my god, he's cooking with lightning. He's electric. That doesn't look very dangerous, I will say. What if we put a little... Mm. I think I liked it with just the one color. Yeah. Yeah, alright. I'm actually happy with that. Save it. That's a... That was very... I was so much faster. If you asked me 10 minutes ago, maybe like two hours ago, actually. Um, Razor Leaf. Which spell would take the longest, or which element would take the longest to make sprites for? I would have said, like, Leaf, no question. Just forget about an hour ago, I said fire would be the hardest when I was doing fire, and the other two would take less time because they were easier. Uh, okay, 32 by 32. So I need a shield. A shield. We'll copy this guy. A shield. Uh huh. I'm waiting. A shield of. I did it again! Whatever. Nope. A shield of leaves. Hmm. Ooh, I can make it a flower. That's tempting. But how is a flower supposed to stop a chunk of frozen ice? None of this really makes sense. But it's wizardry, right? So does it have to? Yeah, my mistake was doing ice instead of water. Because both fire and ice kind of poop on any vegetation. But I'm not redoing the water. Ice. Hmm. 
So a really sharp leaf cuts through a wall of ice, huh? I guess it is really sharp. Or maybe you lean into vines? Vines could like grab the ice and slow it down, because ice surely is slow. So you do like the, like a vine shield. So it just like tangles the ice up. And you've got like little, little feelers out. Oh, I should use different colors of green to make them. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> the only time I'm ever like positive towards myself is when I'm doing dumb things. Yeah, look at that. So they're, you can tell them apart. I kind of hate this section up here though. Let's not do it like that. Okay. And then we'll do a different green. And then we can put the flowers on this. Uh huh. It doesn't look particularly solid, I will say. Maybe I add just like a thick one. Like, oh yeah, this is a tree trunk of a vine. Like, this is the core of its protection. And then we'll do another one. I don't like how square it is, I will say. So let's make this one just go out in front. And then we'll take out a lot of this one. And reconnect it. Like that. Like, like that. Okay. And then we'll extend this one out a little bit. Okay, and then maybe we cut this one a little shorter. It's like I'm doing yard work. But like obviously not. Okay, and then let's put a couple of little flowers. Cause we can. And then you make the, like a center, ew. Maybe a different color, this one. And then let's do mm -mm, this cuddler. What the heck do flowers look like? That's sure. That could be a flower. Maybe we make a little blue one. There's really not that many shapes I can do <laughs> now that I'm making flowers. It's like you got the classic four petal and then the weird ones. All right, that's good enough. Just don't think too hard about how it's supposed to. Oh, okay. I can put like an actual tree trunk in it. But yeah, don't think too hard about it how it's supposed to hold up against an ice hammer. Oh no. <clears throat> My throat, it needs help. Okay. I know I'm drawing over some stuff, but I think that's okay. Oh, and then we can do like roots. Like it's reinforcing itself into the earth. So when it gets hit by the ice hammer, it's like, yeah, it's rooted. You're not moving this buster unless you so happen to be a great ball of fire. 
in which case we will dissolve. Oh yeah. That's that's justified. <laughs> Yeah, don't think too hard. And then I do think this should creep in a little more. Because they are supposed to be like over the, uh, the trunk. So like some of these should even hang out. To really sell that, like, yeah, that the trunk is under the vines. Hidden. So to say. Not really. That could withstand a 2,000 pound block of ice. Surely. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're good. I'm so interested to look... To look at the recording after the fact and split it up into how long I spent like writing code or debugging or drawing assets. I think the breakdown is gonna be unfortunate. What am I doing? This is vine wall. Oh, I gotta do one more. Oh, it's the, right, the wide one. Okay. That's unfortunate. Hmm. So this should be 32 by 16. Okay. Honestly, I probably should have just used like stable diffusion to get pixel art. It probably would have been faster. Oh, uh, maybe not. I don't know. But then I wouldn't have made it, you know? Okay, so this one is going to be scaling up. For the fire one, that's fine, because, you know, fire can expand. For the ice one, I guess that one doesn't really make sense either, because the ice is going to be scaling up too. Or maybe I can just stretch it, but the pixels will stretch too, which will look weird. I think the real answer is, is you don't think too hard. Which is kind of like the theme of a game jam game, right? Just don't too, don't don't think too hard about it. So how do I not think too hard? I think the answer is you take like this chunk. Okay. Not bad. You know, you might be able to get away with thorns on this one. Put a little dangly bits. So it looks like it's, it's flying and increasing in scale. Okay. So how wide were the other ones? You go pretty much edge to edge. You do not. I think, okay, let's do this. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe I should just make you a little wider. Cause I, I do want them to be like this, Somehow, I actually managed to get similar form factors on all of them. The shield doesn't really matter that much, because it'll be around the player. Um, the wall should at least be close, because these are going to be getting... They're going to be scaled up, right? So, if you have, like, one projectile going up, like, the difference in hitboxes is going to be fairly minor, right? Like, just a little bit. But if your projectile is getting like wider as it goes up, all of a sudden like a couple pixels difference is is huge on the receiving end. 
so any pixel difference will look much larger. I think the answer is you just make the hitbox the size of the smallest one, and then you get a little bit of like leeway jank for the wider attacks, because you could overlap with the player and not register a hit. But I think that's preferable to than the sprite overlapping the player, like not at all, and still getting a hit. So let's, I don't know why this is completely dangling. Um, oh, I actually love it. The idea of like coming around the side of the trunk. Like completely wrapping around it. That's good. That's good stuff. Write that down. Write that down. Okay, let's make this a little longer. Uh huh. Uh huh. We can extend this out. <clears throat> Do this. Okay, yeah, I think it would be pretty uncomfortable to get hit by like a flying log. I think that's pretty safe to say. And we'll not do flowers on this one. Mm. Okay. Nice. Um, where should we should be done with sprites? What are you? Oh, you're wide vine. <laughs> Just awful naming convention. Okay. You can get out of here. So we have all of our sprites at the bottom. Let's make a folder for them. And then we can put them all. Okay, great. I know you're supposed to org oops. I know you're supposed to organize these by like meaning and not by type. Like instead of having a sprites folder and a scripts folder, you should have like, oh, player. And then every the asset related to the player goes here, like the player controller and the player sprite. Uh, but I don't care. This is all of our assets forever, so uh, I'm not worried. Okay, what's the plan? Um, all the sprites are done. So, oh, we need to program it to spells. That's the, there's like two annoying things that I, new going in one would be the ai like writing what the enemies do and the other would be writing the spells themselves so we're on like the first bridge the first cliff side if you will this is the point where i would if i were not recording i would go yeah okay i'll do this like later I'll do this next weekend. And then next weekend would roll around and it'd be like, I don't really wanna. And then I just have like, <clears throat> I just have, hello, OBS. Hello, whoops. I just have this and I'd be like, oh yeah, I had a prototype, but it wasn't fun. Like, yeah, okay. Um, okay. Oh, oh, there's actually some other stuff I need to do. What is my input? Cycle element. Okay. If input dot action release cycle element. Let's see if this does what I want it to do. Huh? Get? 
how do I do this? What does this do? How do I do this? Is it really a get? No, that's not right. Oh, you're gonna make me look it up. How to do basic, whoops, input handling in Godot. Okay. Give me Godot docs, please. Uh-huh. Oh, it's is action pressed. There we go. Okay. And then we can do this. Oh, were you looking at the... Whoops. That's okay. Okay, we have cycle. You can see it in the bottom. Great. Okay, so we can do caster dot cycle. Huh? Is it not called cycle? It is. Oh, I'm dumb. This is gonna cycle into none, isn't it? Yeah, there's none here. Um. So this should be at minimum one. So min one. Uh huh. And then let's print. Okay. That's not working. So it's one. And then we add one to it. So that's two. Whoops. Two modulus four is two. Oh, this is min. Whoops. It's supposed to be max. Wow. Look at that. You can't even see it. That's how cool it is. Okay. Oh, I realize that it's not very colorblind friendly. So I, I use like, I don't know if it OBS captures it, but actually I can test it. I use like a redshift or a night shift thing. So it makes blues red. Oh, of course I won't be able to tell because it shifts my OBS preview as well. Okay, well, I'll be able to tell after I finish the recording. Um, but the blue will look a lot like green. Mm. I think accessibility is not high on the priority list for a game jam game. So I don't think I should worry about it. I can make the color a little more uh, unique though. I can make it darker because that will should show up regardless. Yeah, okay, that's probably different enough. So even if blue and green look the same, it's still dark. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, let's... What do I want? Okay. This is fine. And then I want to do the same for form. Uh, cycle form. 
cycle four. This one, there is no... What am I doing? There's no... Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's gonna do the same thing, huh? Why do I even have none? Is that worth having? I feel like I shouldn't even have not. Yeah, let's get rid of not. Let's see what that breaks. And then we'll even get rid of the default too. And then we don't need this max anymore. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I think having none there is unnecessary. There's really no reason to have it. Okay. What now? Um, the form? Okay, should work. Of course, I don't really have a way to test it, but... Actually, let's have cycle be faster and then you have to hold the form to cast I like that press is action press cycle form so this is where uh, check for holding for uh, cycle So this is where we do holding cast. Okay. And then we can do holding cast r s equals delta. Okay, so we keep track of how long we've been holding. Um, also, and if we release it. Hmm. Yeah, okay. And then we do time, uh, hold time, time to, to hold before cast. I don't know, maybe like half a second. Just a nightmare of a variable name. So we only want to cycle if holding should not be just be hold time hold time huh oh it's holding time mm, no i don't think so so when we release it if we're not holding it then we can cycle Oh, okay. No, we can actually do this somewhere else. If hold time greater than this, then we can do... Okay. So this is where we, we cast. Right, if we're... Oh, also we can hold This actually should go up here, down here. Okay, so if we are holding it more than we need to and we release it, then we can cast. Ew, no, because I want to cast it as soon as possible. No, 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 no. This, I was right the first time. Yeah. We want to do it as soon as this fires. Um, okay. If hold time is greater than this, then we cast. 
Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, so... Okay, now you can see. It takes so long. Um, just pressing it cycles it. Okay. Uh, so if I keep holding it, it keeps casting. And then when I release it, it cycles. Because... I see. So the hold time equals zero should be when we release it, I think. Yeah, let's try that. So the problem was it would always cycle because it would, after casting, would start ticking up hold time again. So hold time would never be zero. Whoops, cycle, cycle. Oh my God. Okay. I see. Hmm. I guess we can do like can cast here. No, I don't think that'll help because it'll still keep ticking up all the time. Do I care? I don't know if I care. Cause what if, what's so bad about trying to cast and then the caster being the limiter and going, nope, sorry. Oh, cause then it'll reset. It won't reset hold time. And then as soon as it's able, it'll cast. But that's fine, I think. Is it fine? That'll mean you won't have to hold cast. It'll cast as soon as your cooldowns are ready. You won't have like the quarter second delay. Is that okay? So it'll be faster to cast the same thing twice in a row than it would be to cycle, which is always gonna be true, right? Um, but it'll be faster to cast twice in a row if you're just holding the button between two casts than if you were to let it go and then recast it. I think if you've got the guts to cast the same thing twice in a row, I think you should be fine. So yeah, we just try and cast here, I think. Because this is not so much to delay the player, but more so to make sure that they... Huh? Now it's not doing it. Oh, because of course I'm not printing anything. Uh, it's not to delay the player, it's more so to make sure their input does what they want it to. Why is it casting so much now? Am I dumb? I don't answer that. Where'd it go? Why is it always casting? Oh. Because of the... I see. Because of this bit. Why do we care about this? It's been 
I've been recording for too long. My brain is already turning to mush. Why would we care about this? Don't we always want to set it to zero? Yeah, I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. No need to print. <clears throat> so we just call caster.cast .cast or whatever. Hmm. Okay, let's add some prints Okay, do I... Oh, I know what to do, okay Set state uh, Current state equals state uh, Print state does this actually do anything? Oh, it does. That's sick. You can't even see what I'm looking at. It goes... Ugh, I wish it put the real word. Okay. Let me move this down a little bit. So it's going 1, 2, 0. So 1 is casting. So I'm in idle. I hold cast. It goes into 1, then 2, then 0. Okay, that's that's doing what I want. Great. Uh, let's move you back to center. Okay. Maybe I can do state dot state state. No. <clears throat> dot keys. What are you? What? It's giving me the autocomplete? Keys. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay. So this is an array? Question mark? Oh my god. Wow. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, cool. Um, I guess we can just leave this for now. Uh, okay, so we still have to actually cast the spell. We still need to actually make the spells. And we need to resolve spell collisions and then spell collisions with players and life and the AI. And oh boy, this is unraveling into a larger more work than I anticipated which always literally always happens uh, but that's fine I'm also going pretty slow so okay it's been about an hour 40 it's time for another break uh, yes I will be back in literally a split second <laughs> 